Hey guys, and welcome to another Miraculous Ladybug Season 4 Theory. And before I get started though, I just want to let you guys know I will be talking about future spoilers for the season. So if that's something you don't want to know, don't watch. This is stuff that's been confirmed by the animation company, so fair warning. Anyway, recently there's been a bit of discussion surrounding the upcoming Miraculous episode titled Gabriel Agrest. It was one of the first two episodes to be named upcoming for Season 4, and suffice to say, there's plenty of hype for it. When you title an episode after the primary villain, it's safe to say you're going to get some serious backstory and details on the villainous plans, which of course is one of the main draws of the story. Recent leaks by Gloob have straight up confirmed that within this episode, somebody's going to find out Shadow Moth's secret identity. Say what you will about teasers, but this is a pretty big one and certainly gets everyone more excited for the episode. It's a pretty huge twist and is very much a game changer of how the show could operate depending on which character it is. Now, it's been ages since I did a miraculous prediction or theory video with so many episodes coming out week by week, so I thought today I'd do just that and run through the candidates for who I think may discover that Gabriel aggressed to Shadow Moth, from least likely to most likely. Now, obviously, I'm not going to insult your intelligence and say, Oh, it must be Ladybug or Cat Noir, because, nah, it won't be. For one, we've seen episodes that are set after this, and we haven't seen any inclination that either of them are keeping a significant secret like that, because obviously you'd have to build that up between them if that was the case. And it won't be any of their friends either. If it was any one of the hero characters, they would just straight up tell Ladybug, and she'd get everybody to suit up and turn up in his bedroom while he's sleeping for a good old-fashioned prison beatdown. At least, that's what I'd do. For it to actually be a hero character, they'd have to lose their memory of what happened afterwards, and they've already done stuff like that before. It would just be so disgustingly unsatisfying, and honestly, majorly stupid. And now, I'm actually kind of worried I've jinxed it. And look, if this happens now, it's not my fault. And then beyond all these stipulations, it also has to be a relevant character. Imagine if it was just some random nobody side character that no one cares about. What a terrible timeline that would be. But, with all that being said, Let's get some ideas flowing. Now the least likely of the possible candidates is probably Chloe. The reason I'd put her on the least likely podium is the simple fact that canonically, she's stupid. Literally stupid. Smooth brain is the least of her concerns. I don't foresee any possible way for her to actually manage to figure out his identity apart from breaking into his house to steal a pair of Adrian's underwear and noticing that he has a secret basement villain lair. Actually, scratch that. That's probably how Marinette finds out in the season finale. And another thing to add is that her character's the type of person to just tell Ladybug straight up if she found out, with the expectation that she'd get the Bee Miraculous back. It just doesn't seem possible for her to keep that a secret. And even though Gabe is smooth-brained, he isn't stupid enough to tell her his identity either. Because, you know, that is another option. We don't actually know if someone discovers it on their own, or whether he full-on confides in somebody to aid his plan. And it very much depends on the person, too. However, on the other hand, the writers do love to demonize Chloe and hit her with the villain bat constantly, so I can see them in my mind's eye as I speak saying something like this. Hey, you know who sucks? Chloe. We should make her even more irredeemable and make her figure out the identity of Shadow Moth and not tell anybody. Ah, oh, asterisk, you've done it again. And the sad thing is, it would definitely be on brand for her to be written this way. But still, she does remain the least likely candidate. And then that brings us to Felix, and honestly, I'm in two minds as to whether he's low on the probability list, or high. It's been confirmed that Felix is making an appearance in three episodes this season, and one of the most logical episodes for him to appear in is Gabriel Agrest, considering we won't just have an identity reveal, but most likely a backstory to his life before Miraculous, and that would most likely include a young Felix who was apparently close with Adrian in childhood. So I do think he will have some significance in the episode, but that doesn't mean I think he'll find out. He's only been in one episode before, so it would feel pretty cheap, especially since he'll probably just go back home to London thinking, man, it's pretty weird that Uncle Gabe's a supervillain in Paris. That being said though, he is pretty cunning and managed to figure out that Adrian has a crush on Ladybug and that Marinette has a crush on Adrian in like, what, two seconds? Then he'd go on to trick Natalie into confusing him with Adrian, manage to get several people akumatized and steal Gabriel's ring at the end of the episode. The dude leaves a lot of carnage in his wake, so who knows? But still, at the end of the day, he has no real relevance. He's appeared in a grand total of one episode and has not been seen or talked about since. So why would anybody really care about this? He would have needed to appear more for this role to actually make sense for him, because it implies they're going to stick around as a more substantial villain, likely helping out Shadow Moth. 
And since when they interacted previously, Felix and Gabriel didn't seem to like each other, I can't see this being a realistic possibility that they team up. That being said though, it does open up some pretty cool potential storylines where Felix uses his knowledge to blackmail him maybe. Maybe he wants the other ring. We'll wait and see. And we'll do some honourable mentions now before I get to the most likely candidate. And these honourable mentions include Gorilla, who could very easily accidentally find out Gabe is Shadow Moth, but is much more likely to find out Adrian's Cat Noir. Number two honourable mention is Audrey, Gabriel's most reliable akumatized villain for mass destruction. Their families are pretty close, and there's definitely a hint of some shady backroom deals going on between them. And speaking of backroom dealings, my final honourable mention is Kagami's mum. There's been many different hints of little different contracts between them, and whilst they're both significant business people, I also get the feeling that they might know more than they let on. And having a partner high up in the business world will probably work out well for the larger miraculous plans, but other than that, it's probably still unlikely, as are all those other ones. And this brings us to the most likely, most obvious, and pretty much the best choice, Lila. Now this season, Lila's definitely taken a backseat as a villain, barely seeing her at all so far. As opposed to last season, where she'd either work with Gabriel, Hawkmoth, or both to achieve some sort of objective. And it would make a lot of sense to bring her back into that sort of role now, especially since Queen Banana sort of looked like it was winding down on Chloe being a villain. So now, a space is opened up again for Lila to take center stage. Plus, it would just really help with her storyline, considering she's worked with both of these personas in the past for them to be combined. And honestly, this kind of reveal could go in a number of different directions. Either she finds out accidentally and uses the info to blackmail him like we suggested for Felix, but maybe with this time the intention being that he gives her a miraculous? Maybe this is how she gets the butterfly for when she probably becomes future Hawkmoth. Check out that video. And I think her instantly betraying Gabriel as soon as she finds out his secret would be pretty on brand for her and would honestly be pretty funny. But honestly, this is probably unlikely considering the synopsis of the season finale where she's meant to be jetting off with Adrian. Either that or recognizing she's just a terrible, terrible person, Shadow Moth decides, screw it, let's bring her in on the evil plots and let's team up for a while to get those pesky kids. And this is honestly the most likely way it's going to go. And I think it's supported by the fact that we know that Gabe will be pushing Lila and Adrian closer together. To probably influence Adrian with like-minded people like himself, and steer him in a different direction than his golden boy personality. And it would also follow off from the end of season 3, where Lila made that pact with Gabriel for the best interests of Adrian. Especially after his defiance of Gabriel's plans in Mega Leech, the episode set straight after Gabriel aggressed, it would be handy to have someone in Adrian's class who knows his identity to influence Adrian, and therefore help keep an eye on him. I mean, unbeknownst to Gabe, she's still going to betray him eventually, but in this case, probably not until the end of the season. Either way, one day, she's going to be screwing him over and stealing his miraculous, leaving him looking like a chump. So yeah, those are my main ideas for who's going to find out Shadow Moth's identity. Although, just watch it be Adrian and then he gets his memory wiped and makes me look stupid. Just watch that happen to me. But once again, those are just my thoughts, and now I'd like to hear yours. Who do you think it will be? And why do you think that? Make sure to leave a comment and let me know.